Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. I do mum and lifestyle videos and at the moment I'm posting about once a week. So I would love to have you as part of my little 10 person entourage. Please click subscribe and um, leave a comment, say hi. Anyway, let's get into the video. So today's video is about how to deal with tough mum days. That's mum days. So those are those days when you might wake up and just feel really low. You might feel a little sad, maybe even a little depressed or just really in a funk, particularly if you're a stay at home mum. But this video can also translate if you're, if you're not a mum, but particularly for the mums. So the reason I decided to make this video is I was actually having one of those days this morning. I woke up feeling really, really flat, kind of lonely, really sad and just not knowing what to do with the day. I think the reason I felt this way is because we just celebrated Jed's first birthday on the weekend. We had a big party for him on Saturday and my parents have just left after visiting. So I think I was feeling a little bit flat after having a big build up to his birthday. We didn't have any plans today so it was sort of a little bit like, okay, what do I do with myself now? I didn't have any plans for the day. So here are my top tips for dealing with those tough mum days and I'm going to give you my four top tips. Okay, so my first top tip is to get ready for the day and the reason this is the number one tip is because it's the simplest thing you can do. So this morning when I got uh, dressed up having a shower I pulled on my daggiest pair of baggy grey shorts and a floppy grey t-shirt and threw my hair in a bun, okay, with this bun, no makeup. And I felt pretty gross. Like, I couldn't go anywhere like that. And I felt not very good about myself. So my tip is to get ready. Even if you have nowhere to go, go and put on something that you could feel confident leaving the house in and put some makeup on. It doesn't have to be full face, just something, a little bit of mascara, a little bit of light coverage, BB cream, some blush, a little bit of lip gloss. Something to just lift you up and make you feel happy with your appearance, um, that you would feel confident meeting a friend in and something that could take you out of the house. So that's the number one tip, just get ready. The second tip for the day, if you're feeling if you wake up feeling this way is to figure out somewhere to go and get out of the house so what I did this morning as I said I had no plans and it was kind of in that mood where you know you should do something but you feel glum and you you kind of just don't know what to do at all so what I did was I wrote a list of the different possibilities. So on my list, I said I could go to the shops, like I could go to the West Westfield. Didn't have anything to do there, but you know, you always find something to do. I could have gone out and had a little lunch date with, with my son. Go to the shops, we could go to the park, park and have like a swing and have a little picnic. We could go for a swim. And so I decided, and, or I could meet up with a friend. So. I ended up um, messaging a friend and while I waited for her response, I got ready so that Jed and I could go for a swim. Turns out that my friend was available. So we went to the park, we met up, we just had a chat, the babies had a play and we got out in the sunshine. So, and I left feeling so much better. And after that, Jed and I went um, into the shops and we just had a little look around and came home feeling so much better. So that is my number two tip, get out of the house. Go anywhere out of the house, just get out. If it's in the sun, even better. Just get that vitamin D and feel part of the human race. Okay, so my number three tip is to get organized. So I feel like sometimes when I'm feeling glum and low, it, it's often because I might have too many things on my to-do list 
or maybe not enough on my to-do list or just not enough structure. So I get my planner and I write down some things to do. So it might be just a few small goals for the day. It might be to, oh, it, could, it could be absolutely anything. Just write down a few little goals that you want to accomplish for the day. And if you accomplish those goals and cross them off, through your day, you'll just feel a sense of accomplishment. So that can be a good one if it's just not an option to get out of the house that day. Figure out some goals for the inside and cross them off and you'll feel uplifted that you've achieved something. And my next tip, number four, is to tidy up your house. Now, I know this isn't gonna resonate with everybody, but personally, I find that I feel happier when my space around me is tidy and calm. So, at the moment, my house is not tidy and calm. And this is because we have just had Jeff's party, his birthday, and my parents stay. So we've kind of just, and then, you know, the day after the party, we didn't want to do anything at all. So we've got a lot of washing. We've got boxes of birthday presents that we don't have anywhere to put. We've got a bit of a messy kitchen. We've got washing piling up. So this afternoon, one of my tasks is going to be to get into tidying up. But um, I think sometimes things can start to feel a bit overwhelming when the chores pile up. And something that I've been finding really useful lately is to just try and focus on one area at a time. And something I've been trying to remember lately is the word focus. And a useful acronym is, um, what is it? Focus, um, fo okay, focus. Follow one course until successful, focus. So what that means is to stick to one job until it's completed, then move on to the next. So when the way that that translates to housework, if you've got a house where, for example, you've got a pile of things on your kitchen table, another pile of random things on your bench, the lounge room is a mess with toys. The bedroom has laundry piled up. Don't let it get all up in your head. Just start with one area at a time. And usually it helps to start with the simplest area. So go to the area that has the least tidying up to do and just focus on that. Put the things away off that area, get that area straightened up, then you'll feel great that you've accomplished one thing and then move to the next area and you'll find that that is so much more productive than doing one little thing and zipping around and getting distracted and then you'll feel like you haven't really achieved anything at all so those are my four top tips for lifting yourself up when you're having one of those tough mum days so just to repeat the first one is to get ready Put on something that you feel comfortable and confident in and put on a little bit of maybe put on a little bit of makeup if that makes you feel better and do your hair in a way that you'd feel comfortable leaving the house in that way you're ready to go number two is to get out of the house if you can't think of where to go you could do something like going to the shops run some kind of errand um, go for a swim go for a walk just go for a walk in the pram go get some groceries um, go to a mum and bubs movie with your baby go to a, a cafe and have um, a little lunch with your baby or your child um, go to the park go have a push on the swing it doesn't have to be a big thing just get out of the house if you're outside in the fresh air, even better. Number three is to, wait, what was number three? I know that number four was, okay, number three was to get organized. So think of a few tasks that you might be able to complete, simple tasks that you can accomplish that day and then cross them off your list. And the fourth one is to tidy up your home space and do so by focusing on one area at a time okay so those are my four top tips and hopefully after you follow those tips you'll feel um, a lot 
better and you know like today I woke up feeling really sad and glum I had to force myself to get ready I had to call on a friend I had to think of something to do to get us out of the house and now this afternoon I feel great I feel uplifted I feel like I've accomplished something for the day Jed and I are going to go for a swim this afternoon and I'm going to have a little tidy up now before he gets up from his nap so that is the turnaround of my day i really hope that some of these tips can help you and um, if you found it useful please give the video a thumbs up let me know what resonated with you in the comments below and please feel free to leave your top tips for how you make yourself feel better if you're having a tough day thank you very much for watching everyone and please remember to hit subscribe if you haven't already and you can expect a video at least once a week from me and I look forward to seeing you here again soon. Okay, bye!